Hey guys, Greenbird here. Um, I've got a piece of Rainy Buttes petrified wood today. It's from North Dakota. And uh, it's kind of a strange shape, so I think what I'm going to do is bust it into the two rocks. Somewhere down here. Uh, I do have a nice ridge right there. So I think I'm just going to take that ridge. there and just see what happens. I'm just looking to make pressure blanks for um, indirect percussion. Well, I guess those wouldn't be pressure blanks with it. But, um, so this rock is a little too big for my purposes here. Let's see, where's my buffer? in there. Might not be easy to get to, but it's in there. Precious that uh, even the small flakes, I try and save them. When I'm tumbling them, whatever I can't turn into points. underneath that platform by doing that. So that's not going to drive very well at all. So I'm going to back up here to this corner. Take this platform here. Just felt a sharp spot on my bobber too. I may have
this out. off a little bit chunky. support it, but I don't want to push it in so hard that it terminates the flake, so we'll see if I can find that balance. It went pretty far, but it just didn't dive very deep. little hinge there but I can take that from the other side didn't quite make it all the way crossed but okay so let's just finish it off Again, just trying to get all that loose stuff off there because it's just not going to do any good. If it doesn't want to be there, let it go now. It's just going to slow things down later.
platform there. Take that chatter off where that hinge is on the other side. And then I think once I get this to a good spall, maybe I'll come back and I'll work some of those flakes. Anything going to waste. with that or it's going to stall. There we go, we flattened that rock out. That's pretty cool. So we took that crazy chunky rock and flattened it out into something relatively workable. I mean it's not even close to a biface or anything yet. I kind of want to do that, but I want to go back and attack those flakes too. Otherwise, they'll just end up in my junk pile. I'll never do anything with them. They'll be a total waste. Stop right here. So I flatten that rock out. This is going to be a good uh, biface to start with, or a good, I guess it's kind of just really a spall at this point, but uh, much easier to work than that other piece. So I'm going to stash that away and I'm going to get back to these chips because I just don't want them to go to waste with such precious material. This will be a little bit interesting because I do have that, you know, kind of little pothole in there uh, with that vein, that inclusion there. But uh, I'm optimistic that I can get something out of this. So, Randy Buttes, I'll stick this away right now. As much as I love doing percussion and I want to keep doing percussion, I also, like I said, I don't want those flakes to go to waste. And I know if I keep smacking large rocks, they're just going to end up going to my debitage bucket and uh, I won't get to them. So, stop this one here. 